What up, Virgo? This is your 2020 forecast or predictions or whatever you want to call them. Because that's what we're doing today. Yay. So, this is predictive, Virgo. Remember, it just resonates with you. Good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Because this is just a prediction. I don't know if this is going to be solid or not. So, no worries. Right? Right. So, let's see. We're doing the four quarters, and we'll define those four quarters and how you are going out. 2019, right now. Virgo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So, check your charts. Well, you're going in, the two, coming out of 2019 with worry. Five of pentacles, that being left out in the cold kind of feel. Or you're bringing that upon others. From the two. Let's see. For the first quarter, you got the sun, lots of happiness, feeling paired up brightly with somebody. The second quarter, quarter you're coming out of interference something that's no longer going to be hindering your perspective or your visions for what is and is not or maybe you'll be less confused because you'll understand stuff more you know be easier not to have to analyze shit right third quarter princes of cups reverse someone may have like a very nasty expression of their emotions and then the star reverse with that lack of communication there might be a lot of stagnation when it comes to not dealing with somebody. Feels like someone might have showed their ass right here after you thought that they might be really cool. Maybe what's, this is what this lack of interference is going to be in the second quarter of the year. Let's see, Virgo. So for this first quarter... Whatever this um, pairing is with the sun, whatever was bringing you happiness, there's a basis of tortured and crucified in it, right? So I'm gonna end this page of cups is right here again. You might feel a little bothered because someone is definitely showing their ass and you are picking that up very quickly. Hmm. Mm. This person comes off as childish, possibly. Or there's an energy of childishness in the air that you're picking up. And recognizing that someone has a lot of power and authority to abuse that with their childish behaviors. This lack of interference in the second quarter, right? There's distance in ether. That disturbs this interference, leaving you to pretty much be released from whatever you were anchored to. Whether it was the security, being like a miserly person. I don't know, Virgo. But I feel like the distance helps make you feel more secure. So you might end up dealing with somebody. Right at the very big end of 2019 that's got you wondering, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why can't I figure you out? Or something else is bothering you about them. I don't know. Let's see, third quarter with this um, Princess of Cups, or this immature person. Um, they're not going to be coming up with new ideas for why something won't work the way... I reckon you wanted to or whatever it was that they were working with when it came to their emotions like um it's no longer being as creative as it was it's like if they were trying to get you excited or upset about something it's not going to work the way it used to especially with this distance yeah mm, I find you secretive Virgo Mm.
Mm. There we go. Either they think you're keeping the secret that you don't want, that you don't think that this shit'll melt together, or they can't come up with creative ways of keeping you all together because in secret they don't see you guys as compatible at all. I mean, I can tell that you already don't, Virgo, but... It's like this person doesn't recognize their own nasty nature and result of this relationship during the third quarter. Either that, or you just don't see this shit working, but you're keeping quiet about, like, how you feel. Fourth quarter with the star reverse, the lack of communication, right? Ah, double energy. Just the lack of communication isn't helping anybody in this situation. It's actually probably making things worse, uh, especially in regards to stuff from the past. And feeling like there is no control, no channeling your own energy. No feeling like yourself, really. It's like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, huh? So how are you going to enter 2020? Not a damn thing's changing. Okay, well, that's fair, man. <laughs> um, no shape-shifting, no change. Like you're worried this person isn't going to change their ways a little bit. Or it could be you, Virgo. But this is definitely something you're going to be dealing with for the next year. Let's see. Well, was the first quarter? Rents of discs. Oh, God. Like, you aren't giving this person nothing. You're coming... Like, I feel like you're coming off a little immature with it, but that's because, like, they're playing games. Like, they keep switching back from a king to a page. And I feel like you're just tired of it, so you're, so you're just like, you know what? Here's some bullshit. Bye. You know, like you're like you're you're very much done with how they're behaving. Like, you're not one for like emotional manipulations anyway. Like honestly, I think you guys are allergic to emotions sometimes, because you just don't deal with the shit at all. Like you don't have time for it. In the second quarter. Yeah, things aren't coming together between you and this person. It's the Aeon, also known as, um, Judgment sometimes. And this is like, this was not ordained by God. Or whatever the fuck you believe in. Universe, Rixum, um, whatever it is. Right? But it's like, this was not ordained. You know, this was not set up to be, um, whatever it is. Someone's feeling that way or that's just the way it is. It is what it is, man. But it's like, all this distance will help you realize that, like, maybe this wasn't the good scenario, right? Third quarter. There's potential here with this Ace of Pentacles, right? Definitely rewarding. Definitely cool beans. Hmm. Like, there's too much focus. And what hasn't worked already, and there needs to be a new focus. So focus on something different in the third quarter. Fourth quarter. Avoiding a fucking tower with this person. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. That sounds about right, yeah. So, yeah. That's why you're not going back to even try to talk to this person. Like, there's no point in fixing it for you. That's why there's a new focus to worry about. I think that helps you in the fourth quarter. All right. How are you going to leave 2020 by the end of the year, Virgo? Indolence. Hmm. I, I, I looked that up one day. What the fuck did it mean? Shit. I need to look it up again. Hold on. Give me like two seconds, because I already did for you, because I can't remember 
for the life of me. Wait, here it was. Avoidance of activity or exertion. Laziness. Well... Hmm. It's promising, but you're definitely going to want to walk away from it. But, that's your forecast for next year, Virgo. I'll be doing the reads again after January 13th, I believe. Yeah, January 13th. I will see you guys later. You have a good time, and I'll... Whatever. I don't know. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.